Hey Air Signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your by dailies for July 26 and 27. Okay, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, nice. Libra, you have the Three of Cups. Lots of water energy so far. Gemini. Ooh, Gemini, you have the Star card reversed. Oh no, someone's losing hope. Losing hope here. Okay, overall energy for you guys is the High Priestess. So let's pull some um, clarifiers here. So Aquarius. Oops, that's too many. Aquarius, please. Give me two cards for Aquarius. You have the King of Pentacles. Nice. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Uh-oh. Wow, look at that. The counterparts. The mirroring. The twin flame, perhaps, or soulmate. The Mr. and the Mrs., right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius... There is going to be an offer of love or a reconciliation from someone who knows how to run their shit. Someone who's very successful in money, who could be the CEO of their company, own their own company, who is just on top of their game money-wise, who just knows how to bring it in, okay? Emotionally fulfilling, knows how to give you that stability, is offering you love and commitment with the high priestess here. It's like they've, they've had their eye on you for a while or vice versa, whether this is you to them or them to you could be a capricorn taurus or virgo or a cancer scorpio pisces i am getting strong earth energy here though okay so i feel like there's going to be a commitment being offered maybe an engagement okay maybe a wedding perhaps and you're not really sure because you kind of feel like you're like i'm not ready i don't have my money right i don't have my career right you're just not feeling yourself right now but that's just all fear based okay fit fuck you have something good coming your way don't turn it down just because you feel like you ain't ready or your money ain't ready or whatever. Like, this is an opportunity to move up, not because the other person has it, but because you feel like it's not the time. But this this is looking good to me. This shit looks good to me. Like, you'll snap out of it really quickly because this is something you want. You just, I feel like this was something unexpected. Like you didn't, You didn't really expect this to happen this way. Well, guess what? Divine timing is perfect timing and things happen out of the blue whether you expect it or not. That's when that's when shit's more legit, right? When you at least expect it. <laughs> Libra, you have the Three of Cups, a celebration. Ooh, a celebration. What are you celebrating? The Queen of Cups, love. Could be love, could be motherly. Could be many things. It's like your cup is runneth over. The Emperor reversed. Okay. So, I feel like you could have stepped into your game, right? Stepped into your power as a woman or a man. Doesn't matter, male or female. Okay, so it's like you step into your power. And whether you're engaged during a relationship, a committed relationship with a fire sign or Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, anybody, you know. It's like you you told it like it is. Okay, you spit some truth, some knowledge onto this emperor, and you got them fucked up now. Like they, they're just like, whoa, where did this come from? They're shock. You have them shooketh or vice versa. <laughs> It's like you laid it down, dropped the mic, and came into your power, and you left this emperor speechless. Like, they're pissed off. They're feeling a little sheepish now because you overpowered them in some way. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing here. And now you're, like, celebrating. You're like, yes, I stepped into my own. I'm happy. I'm good. Okay, for some of you, you are engaged or you got someone that could be a little aggressive or a corajudo, someone who gets, you know, 
really snappy easily could be a CEO of their own company or whatever and it's like you're the queen in their eyes no matter how grouchy they are but this is like the person that makes you happy that could also be another scenario too and it's like they like how smart you are smart you are they like how things are easily handed to you or you get whatever you want it's kind of like a brat energy here <laughs> from my Libras For some of you, you're like very, you could be very loving and, and nurturing and caring. But at the same time, if someone crosses you, ooh, you can turn evil as fuck. Like you'll turn this shit over real quick. It's like you hold a lot of knowledge, a lot of people's secrets. And if they cross you over or they fuck you over, oh man, you're going to lay it down like Judgment Day. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the type of shit I'm seeing here. Yeah, some of you are getting married. It's like you asked the other person to marry them. Like the woman asked the man to marry them. It's like you're the queen. You stepped into your power. That's what threw them off for some of you. Maybe like 2-1% of you. Okay, Gemini, you have the star card reversed. Are you losing hope? Maybe in love or in a situation? Yeah, Ten of Wands. You're you feel like you're taking on the burdens and the weight of others and everything onto yourself. Like you have to do everything. And you're kind of like losing hope. You're feeling a little weak sometimes. Because you feel like you're, it's too much for you to bear. And sometimes it, it's easily for you to fall back and, and lose hope in life or in, in, with anything. Then we have the King of Wands here. Could be dealing with a Leo or a fire sign. Someone who's very snappy. They could be very snappy. Or this is you taking on that energy because you feel overburdened. You could be taking on the energy of the King of Wands or you have fire in your chart or you're just dealing with the fire sign who is just overburdening you. Maybe they could be a little smothering. Too much love, too much smothering and you don't like it. Some of you don't like that shit. And then also what I'm seeing here is that you could be dealing with someone who is very aggressive, can be very snappy. Or this is you because you're feeling, you know, stressed out. Losing hope in a fire sign, maybe. Or you're just standing your ground. All this that you're going through, this the weight of the world that you're carrying or you feel like you're carrying, is only making you stronger. It's like you're a passionate person or you're dealing with a passionate person, but at the same time, it's like you're a little bipolar. <laughs> You want that passion, you want that love, and when you get it, you're just like, ugh, get away from me, I'm done. Damn, give, give me one more for Gemini. Like, what the hell? You guys are a little bipolar right now. Do you know what you want? Maybe because you're losing hope in something. Maybe in yourself. Justice. Truth and clarity. You're going to get justice over a situation that you felt like, you know, some of you it's court and you're very heavily burdened by it. Maybe someone's being sued and you're losing hope. Maybe you're afraid you're going to lose a case over a fire sign or vice versa. But I'm seeing justice here though. Like you're, you're stressing yourself out for nothing. Because I feel like you're going to end up winning. You're going to get your justice. You're going to get your truth, your clarity. Yep, that's what I'm seeing here, Gemini. Don't lose hope, though. Okay, don't lose hope. All right, air signs, these were your by dailies. Please, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in your next video.